Bitcoin and outflowed, biggest portion came out of uh, grayscale. I believe today we're gonna see when the US market is opening, move to the downside. You're not too late if you want to enter a trade. Today we're gonna talk about what Bitcoin wells trying to cover up and why the Bitcoin price keeps getting suppressed to be under $60,000. If you want to know what's actually going on, then you cannot miss out on today's episode. Let's go. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in here on this Monday once again, like every day. Let's directly jump into the charts because here are some really, really interesting things developing currently. And first of all, thank you so much for, I think, 400 likes on the video yesterday. Let's try to uh, go to get today 500, guys. So if you're watching this video, smash up the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. That will help to spread the word. Go and smash up the like button. Let's get 500 likes on this today. Here on the DXY chart, we are still in consolidation. Uh, of that uh, bearish pennant or bear flag. I believe today we're gonna see when the US market is opening, uh, a move to the downside continuation uh, for this pattern because you can see here we are clinging on the upward sloping trend line, which is supporting currently uh, the DXY. But usually when we see something like this along a trend line, uh, that means there's a lot of weakness building up and we get then a leg here to the downside, which will then, of course, uh, pump risk on assets like Bitcoin and also the stock market, uh, again, back to the upside, but especially crypto. So now I was trying to figure out over the weekend from where this downwards move came yesterday. It basically started yesterday and I uh, could not really figure it out because when you look here, on the aggravated spot volume, you see that spot was selling, leverage got flushed out, and then we started today to see another uptick. And then I was thinking to myself, okay, who would benefit from a move like that, especially with spot selling, because it makes no sense to sell right now. And then I was like, okay, that might have been tipped off by a group of whales that want your Bitcoin and scare you out of the market because what is more scary than pushing Bitcoin again under $60,000 and make you believe that we go like to 50 or 40 or maybe even $30,000. There's nothing that short-term holders that just came into the market this cycle are fearing like this. So and uh, the best case, uh, the best what they can do is scare them out of the market by selling a small portion, then it's snowballing because the panic sellers are coming in and what they're doing, they keep buying the dip while it's dipping. And then when it's over, you see the reversal and then they basically are hands off. They're like, okay, we bought enough. Now let it, let it go back to the upside. And that's what we are seeing right now. That is also the reason why I believe when we're going to the ETF lows, that even though Friday was overall bearish in terms of ETF um, outflows, we got here 1,450 Bitcoin in outflows, but I have to remember you guys, the biggest portion came out of uh, grayscale. Um, I believe today will be positive because look here, all these ETF uh, issuers, providers, all of them, nobody bought. Here also ARK Invest didn't bought, only BlackRock, and here uh, Bitwise uh, were buying and Ibit was buying. But everybody else, they just did not buy. And I believe they were driving the price to the downside for the weekend. And today you want to see that this number would be positive. Another indication for that is here at Chain Exposed, you can go to uh, the well accumulation heat map. And also here you see that we had quite some accumulation happening yesterday and also the day before. Here we had 60,000, uh, almost 61,000 Bitcoins that got accumulated on uh, Saturday and yesterday another $59,000, uh, 59,000 Bitcoins approximately. So that is a big number, you know. So now try to figure out how much money that is. Uh, we are talking here about uh, a couple billion dollars uh, that were bought here between Saturday and Sunday while the market was going down. I was going also then to the exchanges here on uh, Glassnode to see what happened across the exchanges. And also here you see that from Saturday onwards, the Bitcoins available on exchanges started to decline. Another indication that whales were buying it. And 
if you're here for a long time already, you know sometimes price action gets manipulated by whales that are selling a portion to kick off uh, a waterfall cascade where the price is going down, buying it back, price continues to go, uh, go back to the upside and something else happened in that um, whole shit show that it basically uh, started here over the weekend. They created another CME gap that just got filled. So I was hoping that we will be able to catch that, to trade it. Um, unfortunately, you guys weren't able to catch it. Um, if you trade based off my videos, I was able to catch it. But you guys, unfortunately, not. You are too late for that. So this CME gap is now filled. That was another indication for me that bells, uh, whales were here playing with us because the CME gap was already yesterday kind of like here. And why would you drive it lower? Um, you would only drive it lower to get a bigger bounce back to the upside and then continue to let the price run into higher price levels. Then on the weekly chart, uh, that was another uh, coincidental reason uh, why that drove the price down. Bears tried to defend the 200, uh, sorry, the 22 moving average here on the weekly chart that we're not closing above that because it would have meant imminent continuation to the downside but bulls were strong enough to defend the horizontal support level of 59,600 to 56,000 uh, $900 approximately, sorry, $57,300. So they were able to defend that with a bounce that we got uh, with the start of this week. And here I see definitely a retest of the 22 moving average on the weekly chart by today potentially, which could lead to imminent continuation to the upside. But I'm going to show you uh, some areas on the chart that we need to pay attention to uh, when we go here into higher levels. Remember, I also mentioned to you guys that here was an imbalance. That imbalance also is now filled. Oh, no, sorry, not on this chart. We'll go to another chart for the imbalance. So, but uh, I told you from here, if we get down here to this level, that you can take a trade from there. So, and we actually did. We went lower, uh, which I did not expect if we go that low. Um, we'll be honest here. Uh, but that is absolutely fine. But... Here, our death cross is playing out exactly as I told you. You know, so we were last week speaking about this that this will have a smooth angle and turning around by the end of the week, potentially give us the golden cross. And that will sh uh, then be the confirmation that the death cross that we had here prior was basic, uh, was a fake, fake out uh, in terms of a death cross. Now, can that happen earlier? Yes, it can happen earlier. It could happen instead of uh, Friday. It could happen Wednesday or Thursday, um, but only if price would get above $62,000 um, in the next three days. Only then we would see uh, the angle increasing, getting sharper to the upside on the 50 moving average uh, if we would pump above $62,000 here. Also on this daily chart, uh, we are currently trying to break back into the former support resistance flip zone of 59,700 to $60,700. If we can manage to do that, then expect that we get a retest of the downward sloping middle trend line here around $61,700, potentially a move down here and then continuation to the upside by breaking $61,600 on the way up. So if you're looking for a position on the higher time frames, then $61,700 is your entry where you want to get in. Otherwise, we still need to wait. Uh, uh, no, on the shorter time frames, I will give you a different entry, guys, uh, if you're a little bit more risk adverse. But when it comes to indicators, the stochastic, uh, sorry, the MACD is about to flip bullish here, potentially today, otherwise tomorrow. The stochastic is bouncing off. So here the trend line is bouncing off the signal line, which is bullish. It means continuation. And the RSI also pointing to the upside. Uh, that means also continuation. Uh, hence why we're getting here the strong daily candle currently. So if we keep pushing here, um, everything is looking uh, quite bullish on the horizon uh, for us here. Now on the one hourly time frame, here we are uh, now talking about a new position. I did an Elliott wave count. So here, one, two, with the pullback, three, I would set here. There's the four, up here is five. 
So the five should bring us to like 64,800 to $65,300 approximately. You are not too late if you want to enter a trade based on the Elliott wave count. So, but the entry level for you is around $60,000. $60,100, something like this. Let me actually put this here up. So your stop loss, I would set my stop loss here. $59,100, your stop loss, take profit at $64,800. So that gives you 7.5% to the upside, which is massive for Bitcoin uh, with a 2% stop loss. It's enough if you trade with 10x leverage on um on that position you know i would not use anything more but wait at least for a 15 or 30 minute candle close above the sixty thousand three hundred dollar level you want to have a candle close above that before you start entering but once we have the confirmation that this level is support we will get continuation over the next couple of days into this level and i'm gonna leave the chart as it is here and guys don't forget today starts the big big uh, no sorry this is still the other company if you want to take part in the lucky draw to stand a chance to win two times per week $500 here with Zoomax. Go and sign up and deposit $100 on Zoomax and you still get $10 just for signing up. Don't forget this, but this is limited to 200 people, guys, you know, and I'm already over 100. So you have to be quick to claim your free $10 here and you also get a deposit bonus up to $45,000 if you sign up on Zoomax. But also, if you're trading with the $100 from today onwards for the next two weeks, there isn't coverage insurance on that. So if you lose the $100, you will get your $100 back. So you can trade with as much leverage you want on, on this, like 10, 20, 50 X, doesn't matter, uh, on Bitcoin or Ethereum. If you lose it, Zoomax will refund you the $100 and you can do the whole thing all over again. So go to the link down below um, in the description or in the pinned comment, claim all the bonuses, take all the free money and trade with $100, um, which are basically risk-free because Zoomax is going to give you the $100 back, but only in the next 14 days. So you have 14 days to do that. When we're going back here to this daily chart, then you see that we will be running into some resistance on the way back up. We got rejected from the EMA ribbon here uh, on the daily chart. Now price will most likely come back today to retest this at $61,200. If we see continuation and a break um, into the EMA ribbon, I think that will be uh, the confirmation that we need to close a daily candle here around $62,000. Once we have that conf uh, confirmation, we're going to get continuation by tomorrow into higher price levels. Also on the VPVR, it would give us uh, enough confidence that we would try to break the $63,000 area here. Remember guys, this is the biggest cluster of resistance, 62 to 63, before we get to the $67,000 level. On the liquidation levels, also here, we have liquidated... Um, everybody that was here over leveraged uh, and went back to the golden ratio guys remember i also told you this if we ever come back to the golden ratio you should long from there so we got really close to it not exactly stepped into it but really close to it um, otherwise here the 50 moving average gave us support was also a good bounce level to enter here position the ema ribbon is finally flipping if we close this candle here now as it is i believe that we will see another push to the upside uh, to the 200 moving average that will give us some resistance uh, from there i expect a rejection before we get continuation into higher prices but on the liquidation levels here with the mdx algo uh, we will definitely go up and liquidate here this cluster of low leveraged um, short positions which could give us enough fuel potentially to push a little bit higher and create a short squeeze but i'm not so sure about that yet let's see what the liquidation heat map says over the last 24 hours yes so here at least sixty-one thousand. $1,100 is in the cards today. There's the biggest concentration of short liquidation, um, short liquidity, short liquidity concentrated. And then also here, $62,900. There's also uh, some liquidity concentrated. Below us, I don't see us going back down to $57,600. I think um, that's it. Uh, once we are getting now above $60,000, we're going to stay there for quite a while before we see, for a couple of months potentially, uh, anytime soon, uh, sub $60,000 for one Bitcoin again. Here on the one hourly chart, remember guys, I told you take profit on this uh, on this trade, you should be out 
uh, with your stop loss in profit because I told you here yesterday I said take your uh, set your stop loss take some profit because most likely we come back to the entry and you can re-enter from there so here you got your re-entry possibility uh, if you missed it wait for $59,800 on the one hour chart to enter this here so basically just need um, yeah here a couple of seconds for uh, potentially getting continuation to the upside. Also here on the four hourly chart with the MDX uh, scalp gradient, uh, remember what I said? I said, if we come back to the green line and retest this, then uh, this will be um, also a good level to long from there. We got here $59,450. Uh, of course, we need to see a bounce from here uh, to enter this, not just going down and then enter. Uh, that was that's not what you should have done. You should have waited for a bounce. Now, if we are breaking above the red line, he had sixty thousand two hundred dollars. Uh, that will be just one more uh, confirmation and uh, conclusive evidence to enter a new position. But also here, you want to wait at least for a one hourly, uh, thirty minute or one hourly close for that. Here also on the reactor indicator. Remember what I told you. I said <coughs> we will see. Um, something like continuation here uh, after we cooled down. That's what we got here. Uh, and also when I look here now at the gradient, uh, if the gradient lets me, I cannot draw and have the gradient. So you see here, we have blue candles, which also technically means that the price has cooled down and will now continue to rally back to the upside, potentially in one of these supply zones also charted out here with the MDX algo indicator. Again, if you want this indicator, there is a link in the description. You get 10% discount for signing up with the link only with that link because I negotiated that directly with the founder for you guys. So if you want to make a lot of money with the help of this indicator here, you should definitely go and uh, check this out. The Bitcoin dominance is dropping to the downside. Remember guys, we spoke about this, that I was expecting this. That's why altcoins are going uh, really nicely up today. Uh, we need a daily close below 57.15% uh, to cement all of this and potentially get then also tomorrow another continuation candle to the downside. But afterwards, I would like to see some sideways chop or gradual move down, not again another big candle to the downside because uh, we know if we get here a really quick move like for example, this here to the downside, we also get a really quick move back to the upside. So, and we don't want that. We want rather this coming down slowly and gradually while not creating uh, big moves that will reverse then back to the upside and basically punish us in terms of altcoins. Then Ethereum also really nicely bouncing off here. Again, the 0.382 level, we got uh, a deviation uh, below that level here all the way down um, yesterday to uh, what was that uh, $2,537 but technically we just bounced off the 0 0.382 level so you had here another chance to enter to trade this now into the golden ratio and potentially uh, into the $3,000 level because don't forget we have also a lot of imbalance here so there's an imbalance candle here's a little bit of imbalance so here's a lot of imbalance um, on the chart on the way to the upside. And at some point we are going and uh, filling all these uh, footprints that were left behind on the chart. Then Solana, also remember golden ratio. I said when we come to the golden ratio, that's the moment where you should enter a trade. Of course, with a green candle, not a red one. So here this last for all the candle was your chance to enter this on a lower time frame the indicators have completely reset here over the weekend stochastic going now to the upside macd abound to print a buy signal just the rsi going sideways because uh, solana is struggling a little bit to break here into that resistance area of 151 dollars but once we are above that you're going to see that we are rallying here to the upside so it's, it's still not too late to enter this if you want to enter solana um we can remove this trade here for the time being because it would be still good um if you enter this one here currently and also guys bybit is still giving away absolutely for free 500 dollars as an airdrop position for depositing a hundred dollars so if you want a 500 dollar absolutely for free trading position go in the link uh, take the link in the description below, claim your free $500 and you can trade all these coins that I mentioned here, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Pepper, Doge, Audi, Arbitrum, Jupiter, uh, Phantom and a lot of more coins. So you just need to go deposit $100, go then to the reward hub, get your airdrop voucher, use the airdrop voucher and then um, 
yeah, make a lot of profit with the calls that I give you here absolutely for free. You know, so the link is in the description, guys. Don't forget. Uh, one of the coins that we can trade here uh, over the next couple of days is definitely Audi. Also here, I was always interested when we got a bounce from the golden ratio to enter this. So if you would have entered here, you would be up now almost 10% on that move today already um, on Ondo, Ondo, not Audi, sorry. Uh, here, the next level of resistance will be the 0 0.382, the 84 cent level, because this is also in alignment with the downward sloping resistance line and gives us a lot of confluence that this is the next technical target where we are moving to here on the daily chart. So uh, you can enter this at 77 cents here uh, if we get a daily close above the 0 0.5 level uh, and then um, also take profit around the 84 cent level because this is still a 10% move here. Your stop loss just should be around like 74 cents approximately. So here kind of like in the middle. So there would be my stop loss on that specific trade. Then injective, injective making moves here. If you would have been in this trade all the way from here, you would have been still fine. We did not hit our stop loss. I don't believe that we're going to get here a big pullback. They will allow you to enter back at $18.17. Rather, I believe that we go now for $19.55 over the next couple of hours. You see also the 50 moving average is turning around and is climbing to the upside. Um, price is attracted by the 200 moving average at 21, uh, yeah, almost $22, you can say. So if we break here above $19.60 with a one hourly candle uh, close, you could enter from here and trade this at least into the, into the $22 level, which will give you also 10% return uh, and profit on that position. But overall, here is also a golden cross happening by next week potentially at some point and that will then break the downward sloping resistance line and worst case there you want to be in a trade because that is a really really explosive move that's going to happen when we break this um also in terms of profits we are talking about like 50 60 percent uh that I injective will make on the move here to the upside. So you definitely want to make sure that you are positioned once that is happening. Rune also uh, still around our entry level. So if you want to enter this, this and right now is still a good uh, moment to do that. The original entry was at $3.25. So we are like 2.5% uh, away from that currently. Um, but the target remains the same here. The golden ratio at $4.10. Uh, $4 so if you enter now, there's still like 70 cents, 80 cents to the upside. So this is still here roughly uh, 23, 20% 20 to the upside. Also here, the 200 moving average is acting as a magnet together with the golden ratio and the downward sloping resistance line. So you see there's a lot of confluence for resistance. Uh, hence why we want to take profit once we are getting up there. Uh, the indicator is also showing us clearly that a lot of momentum is here going to the upside. The RSI is going up. MACD are bound to print a buy signal. Stochastic going to the upside here is in bullish territory above 55%. So here also everything uh, giving us a green light to enter this and trade this to the upside. Another coin that surprised me a little bit over the weekend was GRT. Remember, we took already profit. We went all the way back down to our original entry, guys. All the way back down here to 13 cents and 56, actually 52, all the way down here. So good that we took profit over here and you could have re-entered on the original entry if you wanted to because the original entry was down here so you could have entered here on the original entry and you would have been now massively up on this trade if you would have done so so i did not do that so but you could have also entered now in on that pump and catch here the secondary eight percent move so that is now potentially uh seven percent yeah seven percent um which is still fine, you know. So if you would enter now, still 7% to the upside. Stop loss, I would leave it the same. It is just that you have to add another percent. So you have to like free, um, yeah, roughly 3% against 7% to the upside. So it's like a two and a half, more or less two and a half um, risk to reward ratio on this trade. But this is still good to go in my opinion because also here momentum pointing to continuation to the upside. Then Telegram, one of the coins that I am currently trading uh, <clears throat> here on Bybit. I'm still a little bit underwater because I opened this earlier at uh, $5.59. So I'm a little bit underwater, but this will now also jump into profit in my opinion. If you entered here at the golden ratio, 
a perfect trade setup to like the uh, $7.56 um, dollar mark, I will take profit the first time around $7 because it will mo most likely what's going to happen here with uh, Telegram is that we continue to go to the upside. We're going to test the upward sloping resistance line here and the 200 moving average. But I believe Telegram is one of these coins that will break through this, go up here to like $7. And when we hit the $7 mark, create a deviation, come back one more time, a little bit lower, and then continues to go here into our overall target. So you maybe get another chance to enter around current levels if you missed uh, the entry here at the 0 0.786 and the golden ratio. But currently, uh, there is still, still yeah, I, I would enter if we get a pullback to $6.50, $6.51, that will give you a good entry chance. Uh, to trade this with us to $7, $7.56. And guys, that's it already for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to smash up the like button, obliterate the like button today. Um, subscribe to the channel and I'm going to see you tomorrow again with more profits. Don't forget.